10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Asha, so you know, um, in 2011, uh, everybody kept telling me, you've lost weight, you're not looking well. But I was feeling absolutely fine. But I got so fed up, I said, let me go for a full executive checkup. I went for a checkup and they found a tumor. So Sitaram Bharatiya Hospital told me it was TB. And don't go for biopsy because it's very invasive. But by the end of one week of TB medicine, I couldn't even have one boiled egg. I couldn't get out of bed. Luckily, my daughter, who's now in London, had come to, was transferred to Bombay for a couple of years at the right time. So I flew down to her. And uh, my son-in-law said, you have to go to a TB specialist. So I went, and he said, I want a biopsy because certain strains of TB are resistant to certain strains of antibiotics. So, so I went for a biopsy. We discovered it was cancer. So my daughter didn't tell me first. She went to many doctors, especially Dr. Edwani, and he said he, uh, it's of the blood vessels. He said that uh, it's very rare and chemo and radiation does not work on it. But I want to see the patient. So next day I went to see him. He said, we'll start you on chemo and radiation. I said, but yesterday this is what you said. So I was very uncomfortable. Then she went to other doctors. One doctor said 10 days unless she has surge surgery. Then there was a doctor who had cured me of spondylitis. 30 years ago with acupuncture and acupressure. So I rang him up. He is in Kerala. I said, what do I do? He says, come with your report. So I went and uh, he gave me a treatment called the Rife treatment where you send vibrations with, through a machine. You have to hold uh, two rods in your hand which are covered with wet uh, towel. And with the machine, he sends vibrations. Those vibrations are at the frequency of the cancer cells. So only the cancer cells die. The other cells remain the same. Now what happened, my spleen got okay. By the time cancer was all over me, my lymph nodes, my parotid gland, you name it. I mean, <laughs> and the doctor kept telling me, and my daughter had come with me, and we were having a great time. You know, we'd hire a car, and after my treatment, we'd go loafing. He says, don't you understand your, how serious you are? I said, if I'm having a good time, what's your problem? <laughs> you know, <laughs> then my daughter, don't do this, don't do that, you'll get tired. So I said, look, you never let me forget that I'm unwell. If you said once more, I'm going back. You know, so I got quiet. Then uh, after about eight weeks of treatment, uh, my spleen got all right. And then he said, look, there's nothing more I can do for you. He used to give me six glasses of carrot juice with amla, with mosambi, and a little bit of beetroot. And a uh, vegetarian diet, and uh, one hour in the sun, a uh, lot of walking. So uh, my energy was back, but my cancer had become worse. Metabolism inside the uh, tumor was worse and even my lymph nodes more increased. So then uh, I came to Bombay and my cousin heard about my cancer and before I knew what had happened, his sister-in-law is head of Gaini in Naya Hospital. He fixed up, they fixed up surgery for me and everything. So I rang up my doctor in Kerala. I said, what do I do? He says, you ask the surgeon, how is he going to operate? It's, it's in a very odd place. He says, we'll have to, cancel, we'll have to cut your rib and um, pull it out. But because it's in such an odd place, first you cut half, then the other half. So I said, if some, some of it escapes, what are you going to do? He says, we'll do chemo and radiation. I said, but that doesn't work. He says, you know what we'll do? We'll cut one centimeter around it. But the cancer, the tumor was pressing against my jugular vein. So there was no one centimeter. So I rang on my brother who's in Delhi. I said, what do I do? He said, just come. So I came here and he introduced me to Dr. Bhatnagar, who lives in Krishnanagar. He's a homeopath. So we, I went to see him with my cousin. And he made us sit in his clinic for three hours while one patient after another kept going. And it was amazing how many cases of cancer he had cured. So I, I in any case, was not going to do any other treatment. I've always been very fond of alternative treatment. So ever since then, I've been on his treatment. Uh, I'm 98% OK. I've just got a little bit left. I've only had homeopathic. He also gives Ayurvedic powders, two Ayurvedic powders. That is it. I have traveled wild with cancer, 12 countries. I've been giving trainings, working. Not one day of hospitalization, not one day of being in bed. Mm -hmm. And it's all thanks to alternative medicine. But I must say also that I had a lot of emotional support. My cousin became a member of a support group of people with my kind of cancer. She did a lot of research. You know, just the love yeah. of people who care. I think that was, you're, that was it. You're perfect. I, I'm, you know, I'm healthier than my brothers who had no problems. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that wonderful. is it.